Hey, what's up, everyone? Hope you're having a great uh, day today. Today's Sunday, Labor Day weekend. I hope you're enjoying it. We only have one story for you today, um, which is a feel-good story. It's Sunday. There's not much going on right now in the crypto space. Not a lot of minor stock news or anything like that. So why don't we just jump into the sticks here really quick, and then we'll get into the story here. So we'll make this a quick video for you guys. All right, so Bitcoin is obviously trading, you know, still uh, fighting that resistance at 51,000, roughly, or 50,000. It's been bouncing back and off of it, uh, of that 50,000 mark here for a while. It's at 50,269 right now. Uh, as we can see, it's been bouncing off of the 20-day 20, uh, 20 moving average. RSI is still looking good. So we're just waiting for that, uh, basically that bounce, that breakthrough that we're looking for, where it goes from you know 50,200 up to 51,000 within an hour, something like that. We're looking for that bounce to get us past this resistance here. Ethereum is still stuck at uh, $3,900, $3, um, still can't break past $4,000, it's having a hard time. It did break uh, past it for a little bit, then it came back down, so it's obviously knocking on the $4,000 mark. So we'll keep an eye on it. RSI is a little high, it's around 72, but it can still go up way higher, so we're just waiting for that, obviously, breakthrough as well. Cardano, Cardano is doing the same thing at the $3 mark. It is just bouncing right now off of it, and, uh, pulling back a little bit and coming back up. So we're seeing the same thing. So this could be like a period of accumulation as far as I'm concerned in the market right now. We'll have to keep an eye on it, um, see where it goes from there. But we're just waiting for that bounce through, uh, you know, that breakthrough, of the $3 mark for it to go up higher. It's at 287 right now. Litecoin, Litecoin went up all the way to um, 225 yesterday. And it has pulled back since it's, you know, at least it broke out of its uh, resistance here at 188 roughly. And it's up higher. So this is kind of what we want to see in Bitcoin, and we want to see the same thing in Ethereum and Cardano as well to you know get us higher. Sometimes Litecoin can be seen as a leading indicator for what's going to happen with Bitcoin eventually. Sometimes we've seen it where uh, Litecoin will actually pop before Bitcoin does. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Dogecoin is up uh, 30 cents right now. That's obviously down from where it was a couple, uh, two weeks ago at 35 cents. It has been bouncing off the 20-day moving average as well, so we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, and the RSI is at 55, so the RSI is in really good shape right now. It's just we need that bounce again. Solana. Solana is down a little bit from its all-time high of 145. It is at 140 right now. Uh, the RSI came down a little bit, which gives us a little bit more room to run. It's still up there high, so I'm waiting for a pullback on Solana uh, to take us up higher from there. And then obviously we have the mining stocks down here, which today's Sunday, so you know, uh, stock markets is closed, so we won't go into it. Let's take a look at the market cap. So the market cap capitalization for the crypto market is uh, at $2.375 trillion, so that's an increase of 0.06% in the last uh, 24 hours. Bitcoin obviously is still uh, number one, Ethereum number two, Cardano number three, and Solana is fighting with obviously Dogecoin right now for the number seven spot. Uh, Solana's at number seven right now. It's up 45% for the week. And it's got a market cap of $41 billion. So we'll have to keep an eye on this, see how this folds out, um, you know, to see if the Dogecoin army can uh, pull a comeback, get us back up to number seven spot and then up higher possibly. So that's something to keep an eye on. All right. Lastly, we have one good, uh, feel good story. Cryptocurrency can actually make a difference by helping people. The simplicity of crypto could be a game changer for charities when influencers capitalizing on this list to save a sanctuary for at-risk youth. Bitcoin, between breaking the 50,000 hurdle and the upswell in the altcoin markets, crypto has never been more appealing to speculators. But stacking profits through trading is worthless unless that money is spent. Yeah, I mean, you can you know, trade it as much as you want, make as much money as you want, but unless you actually spend it on something, it's basically just paper money. Luckily, charitable organizations are waking up to the possibility of crypto donations as the world embraces crypto. For blockchain entrepreneur Wendy O, when a local gym was in jeopardy, she knew to tap into the crypto, uh, crypto Twitter for help. Using social media, her YouTube channel, and TikTok, the influencer sent out the call to save a business dear to her heart. The self-care lab is a boxing gym located in uh, uh, Pomona, uh, California, which caters to underprivileged and at-risk youth. youth. Owner Nita w Watson recently discovered that the ownership of the gym's building had changed hands and she had a mere 30 days to vacate and find a new home for the community she spent uh, years building up. Thankfully, 
Wendy O is a longtime client of the gym and a strong proponent of using physical fitness to uplift the youth. Wendy tapped into her network for blockchain enthusiasts, traders, and entrepreneurs, and self-declared uh, degens to raise the funds to not only move, the, move locations, but upgrade various worn-down pieces of equipment. While the gym's GoFundMe page has not reached its final goal, there have been enough donations in fiat and crypto to secure a new location, Wendy O told Cointelegraph. Here's a quote from her. The, this gym has been such a massive part of my life, and I can't imagine where I'd be without it. It's more than boxing. It's about self-care and therapy, and a lot of these kids need a positive place like this to keep them focused and out of other less productive activities. And someone who's made a living in crypto, I knew I could count on my friends to step in and make a difference. Yeah, so, I mean, I think physical education, physical activity is uh, a lot more productive, obviously, than doing some other things that could be destructive to uh, especially use uh, health and possibly lives so i think that's great that somebody's helping this out however the innovation didn't stop at uh, allowing crypto donations to capture the attention of the nascent blockchain art community wendy o successfully launched a series of non-fungible tokens on the theta blockchain with the thousands sold so far two of these nfts are redeemable for consulting sessions with ndo injecting some utility into the donations Bringing the gap between spec, uh, speculators and charity is a relatively new phenomenon in a decentralized asset ecosystem. They will likely be more popular as more well-known names in, uh, in the space begin leveraging crypto for charitable causes by avoiding payment operators, middlemen, and third-party processors. More of more of each crypto donation is able to be received. So this is an interesting thing that I, we're seeing with some people doing it is where they're providing these NFTs and then you get some kind of benefit with that, uh, whether it's one-on-one -on -one consultation, you're getting um, access to some people's uh, concerts, um, backstage access, and other things, whether it's, um, uh, what's his name? Um, I can't think of his name right now, but he's a big-time DJ. Uh, they're all getting into this kind of space where, you know, by you supporting them, they're giving you access to them a little bit. Um, so that is more of a, I think, better use case than crypto kitties or some other thing where you're paying millions of dollars for something like that. This is actually where you're getting something for it. So um, that makes sense to me, I think. Um, other projects have long accepted donations of Bitcoin, including the Kessler Foundation and the Dementia Society of America. Most recently, the Paz Animal Rescue in Chicago began accepting uh, donations in Dogecoin, even though there are no NFTs involved. In, th uh, in this case of Paz, the appeal of helping dogs with such a popular canine-themed token seems undeniable. Most recently... The blockchain sector has been supporting charities focused on assisting humanitarian efforts in Afghanistan as thousands of refugees seek new homes all over the world. Nonprofits are stepping up to take action. Consulting firm Visualize Value recently joined forces with Care to Sell NFTs that cover a family's emergency needs. So obviously the crypto space is getting into this to help out um, their basically netizens out there um, you know, that are in need. So I think it's just a great story. Um, I think we can do obviously better than what we have done. We can all donate as you know as much as we see fit, and it does make us feel um, being able to contribute helps us feel like we've done something in this world other than just uh, waste it. And as impactful as these donations are, it may be the convenience of crypto that ultimately drives more users to send funds. Generally speaking, the traditional route to donate online, including includes filling out a lengthy form, manually inputting credit cards. Info and other steps to complete a donation. In contrast, for crypto investors uh, comfortable making blockchain transactions, sending BTC or ETH in seconds is second nature. Instead of bidding on Penguins and NFTs, in this case, they are helping a just cause. Yeah. I agree with that. You know, everybody should do what they can to help out. A casual glance at some of the p posts on the crypto Twitter may seem a bit strange. Timelines are filled with random shills, various scams, traders celebrating their wins, and stories of people losing untold sums due to bad trading practices. While it may seem like a rough crowd to an outsider, however, those who can navigate the space are able to find a charitable diamonds in the rough. Yeah. So that's it. You know, help out if you can, obviously. People are in need uh, in places. Pets are in need in Chicago. And I thought the store in Chicago was kind of nice that they're using Dogecoin to help out a canine um, canine facility. So that's it. Have a great Sunday, you guys. I'll see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. I'll maybe have a video up, uh, another one up today about something else. Um, so until then, have a great day. See you guys later.